this day. Red Panda Anthem. Ian, what's up? This day. Red Panda Anthem. Red Panda, what's this good? Day. Red Panda Anthem. <laughs> your boy. Um, big Bitcoin. Oh, remember Drop that? Five percent. <laughs> Five percent. Uh, right. All the mighty, mighty, the mighty, mighty Bitcoin. Let's see where we are right now. I think it's at like forty thousand. Did it get to forty thousand? Was it under forty? But even when people were talking about it, and a couple people text me, I'm like, it's not even that bad of a drop for crypto. Um, but since all assets are technically tied together because of the institutions, um, I can see why people ask. So it's at forty thousand five fifty. Um, I don't think there's anything to be worried about, but if I did hear today on CNBC earlier, so an analyst said that we're going to drop to 29,000. I'm like, where have I heard that before? <laughs> um, if it touches that range, um, it's only going to stay there for maybe two or three days maximum. And actually, the funny part is, this is the one year anniversary of Mike Novogratz being on the show. When I first made that crazy call. So kudos mm -hmm. to Mike. If we get there, you guys can load the boat. Kudos to you who came up to me Sunday. Like, man, I made a killing off that one. 29,000, 34,000 are good places to hold, but a good place to know also if the market is going to go back up is the price of Bitcoin. It is not the decentralized uh, property or asset that everyone thought that it was, but it also does give you a signal in real time a lot faster for my snipers. Kind of like how like if when the NASDAQ future moves, you kind of know where the market is going to go. If you begin to look at Bitcoin every morning, it'll give you a, a feeling for what a market is going to go for today. So that is a uh, like investing hack you can use now to, to know what the S&P 500 and Dow is going to do based on um, the sentiment what, what Bitcoin is currently doing. There you have it. The all reliable. The almighty Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah. Stocks to help during a recession. Um, I want to give a couple out and then I want you guys to chime in as well. But so if we get deep into the recession, the one I've talked about before, Target, we talked about Dollar Tree before, Dollar General, Walmart, and um, AON is another ticker. Those are four. Also Costco, we talked about those. But during a recession, people have less to spend. Um, those are safe havens that people have gone to, to spend. And then historically during recessions, those brands have done incredibly well. Like Walmart is on, on a pre pretty decent tear as well as Target and Dollar Tree and Dollar General. So uh, well-run businesses, they're not the sexiest businesses on earth, better than Neo, all of them. <laughs> um, but those are ones I would lean on if I needed to like make sure I got gains in a recession. Those are some I lean on. So Target, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Walmart, and AON. Yeah, I, I, it's great. I mean... Those are those are five or uh, six that you need to know. Mm -hmm. and it, it brings up the point, like when on Saturday I was talking about some companies just have an advantage, and those companies right there they have the low cost advantage. Yeah, right. And so they have so many stores that they can give you the product at a discounted price that somebody can't compete with. And especially at times of inflation, if the prices are going up in other stores and they're determined to have low cost, that's to your advantage. And so if more people shop at those stores. And then more revenue is brought into those stores, which obviously will will hope in turn see the the stock price go up. So, those are six one that you need to have in your bucket list or your watch list, especially at these times, because they have a distinct advantage over everybody else. Low cost, consumer discretion. XL, XL what? Oh, that's the consumer discretionary ETF. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was uh, just saying in general. Just in general. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fact. Um. Okay. How does the moon phases affect the stock market? Um, I gave this, this right one, yeah, I gave this one away Saturday. So everybody who's at the show, please don't kill me. I will say this: the market has a higher tendency to drop three days before the full moon and on the days of the full moon. This applies to crypto as well. And then the days in which um, the new moon is beginning to appear, the stocks are at its highest. So I want you guys to go in a longer homework assignment. I want you guys to go back for the last 20 moon cycles because last year talked a lot about pyramids, gave all those gems away. Moon cycles. So when you have a full moon, you have a higher probability of the market dropping or sliding down. So for my traders, you can use it. Look at macro time frames though. Look at minimum the week chart. Don't look at that one hour, look at the week or higher. And then when we go into a new moon cycle three days before and into the new moon, the market tends to go up a little bit more 
on average. You still want to do this for quality, to quality stocks, quality crypto. I don't want you to pick the 99th best penny stock Tim Sykes gave you. Shit, it's not Tim Sykes, but don't do that because it's not going to work. Don't find like a weed company in Australia that's trading at one penny, right? Find the top 15 quality either in stocks or crypto, and then you can use that to know when you can get into the market um, because astrology does have an impact or effect on the market and use these all together in your toolbox as well. So, and for my people in healthcare, especially nurses, please put yes in chat. If on full moon days, do patients act crazier? The same thing happens in the market. My firefighters, police, like, you know, when the full moon happens, it's, it's wild. We used to say that like in my in my school, like if the kids were just a little bit like had a little bit more energy, they're like, yo, it must be a full moon outside. It must be. be. Yep. It must be. Like, I'm like, nah, that's that's just the frosted of flakes, yo. <laughs> Stop playing. <laughs> so my, my style attract millions like the moon attracts C. Prodigy. Rest in peace. To Rest in peace. So if it does have an effect on so for my Christians, if you think and my thing has always been if God made the sun, moon, and the stars, why don't we use the things that he made to our advantage if we are his children? So some people are like, I don't believe that. That's crazy. But when you go look, especially for those who are already doing it in crypto, you see the correlations. They're clear as day. If you find a little moon, full moon, new moon indicator, which should be really easy, especially if you're on trading view, man, you will see clear as day. Those patterns are there. So some people trade it on an institutional level some on a retail level, the patterns are there. You, you'll be, look at the homework, look at the top five crypto, top five stocks over the last five years and see how many days out of those five years that correlation has happened. You'll be surprised. That's why I say in, investing is not hard. And I've talked to a bunch of people, maybe a hundred people. Um, and I appreciate the transparency. It's like, man, you get a blueprint. I just don't execute it or I'm fearful. And I want to tell all of you, you are worthy of freedom joy, love, success, and at having it at the same time. You see, they skin glowing like crazy. And they work hard as hell. You think they only work one hour a day. <laughs> Them boys be sleeping two hours a day, right? So you can be beautiful, peaceful, full of wealth. Have your friends. For, for those of you that are black and brown, remain black and brown and not have to change how you act, right? But use all the tools that you have in your tool belt to create the freedom that you want. And I need everybody to put in chat, I deserve to be wealthy. Because right. the number one thing that is stopping you from getting to where you want to be is someone around you or telling you in your subconscious, you don't deserve that. You don't need that. You do. I want you to have it. We want you to have it. And if I made you money, please put yes in chat. Yes. Yo, man, I was about to say, study, if we go a show without you doing study, it, man. Study astrology and you'll be good. This day. Red Panda Anthem. Ian, what's up? This day. Panda, what's good? Red Panda, <laughs> your boy. Going up. I know they can't stand it.